hi welcome to my vlog my name is Brittany and today we are going to be talking about breast augmentation everyone's favorite subject now the purpose of this video is to show you a method of communicating to your doctor your surgeon what exactly you want now you must think this is kind of easy it's not really, it is, but you have to learn the, the formula for how to convey it. Okay, so once I teach you, you'll be fine. Um, okay, so we have a couple of things. We have tape measure. This you can get at your neighborhood uh, fabric store. Join Fabrics, Michaels, somewhere else if you're in Canada or elsewhere, the UK, something. Okay. Uh, we have a measuring cup okay so what you see right here is that is right there right there let me put my finger see where my finger is it says one liter slightly more than four than four cups four cups 32 ounces one liter is 33.8 all that stuff matters one liter is a thousand cc's in terms of the dry rice you are going to use to fill up some empty grocery bags from Walmart or somewhere else. Double bag it so you don't have an accident. Okay? And, and we're going to go through the method of how you figure out everything you need to figure out. Okay? So I'm going to drop this camera down a bit. And uh, if any of you have questions from this video, your questions are going to be answered and they're going to be answered fast. All right. And I'm going to post a bunch of information with links to uh, a variety of sites, including how to figure out your bra, your band size and your cup size. Um, just other stuff, you know, some equivalency measures like how many how many uh, how many cc's are, are in a cup how many you know this and that all that stuff so what we have is we have the, the tape measure okay Let me drop this down a bit more step back okay so we have the tape measure and we are running it around uh, around us I have it under my boobs right underneath the nipple okay and you see, let's drop this down some more. You see the, um, <sighs> the measuring tape. I'm sorry, I'm stuck for words. Uh, okay, so it has to be parallel with the floor. Okay, so we're gonna take the measure. Now in my case, I am a svelte 39 and a half. Should be snug. You need to round up. Okay, so I'm a 40. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Okay, 40 inches. Okay, now write that down. That's going to be your band size. Okay. Now, next. Not hard. I'm not going to tell you anything that's not easy to do for yourself. We're going to take the tape measure again. And we're going to take, this is an ordinary paper clip, big paper clip, but a paper clip. Now, in my case, the look I'm after is going to give me nine, is going to require like a nine inch difference between under, under the breast and, and over the breast at the nipples, okay? The highest point. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let's see if I lower this some more. You're gonna take the clip. You're gonna find 49. So I have it on I have it on 49, 
That's 48. It was 49. Okay? 49. And I'm going to clip it. You must be asking, what's the point? I'll show you the point. Make sure the clip doesn't slip, not to be cute. Okay, so, see my fingers. My fingers are basically at the size of where my breasts are going to be once he does the implant. So you have this one and you have this one, and that's about right there. Okay, now that's quite a bit. I don't know if y'all can see. See the big paper clip? See that paper clip bouncing around? That's like, um, it's between three and four inches. Okay. Let's get back to the correct altitude for my ten and a half. Okay, so what we're basically going to do is we have the tape measure, I'm winding it up. Okay. You want to ask, you want to buy one of these for the doctor. You tell him to take it into the surgery with, with him and do that same measurement at the height, at the maximum projection of your nipples off your breasts. When he's doing the work, they're going to actually, someone's going to push you so you are like sitting up in bed because you're going to be down on the stretcher, they will actually sit you up, and he's going to look and see how how your he's going to look and see how your boobs sit. You understand? So when they sit you up, you tell him. This is after they've started putting in the saline. Okay, you tell him that you want him to take the measurement tape and to actually measure what your goal is. He can sterilize that tape with alcohol. Don't let him say no. This is your surgery, you're paying for it. Get it? Okay, so don't be a pushover. Don't take no for an answer. Can easily be sterilized with alcohol. Your result is gonna be unique for you, okay? The method I'm teaching you will give you, within a very tight range, exactly what you're looking for. So in my case, I'm looking for 49 on here, okay? And uh, just tell him to try to get it on the high side, ideally, within a centimeter, centimeter and a half, two and a half centimeters to the inch, something like this, of your target. Not on the low side, but on the high side. Better more than less, trust me, okay? Uh, okay, now you have, let's talk about some issues. Number one, you're going to fill this up, like I told you, with the rice. You're going to put it in the bags. You're going to put the bra on. Now, I, brought, I purchased a bra. You might be able to see this. See how pretty that is? Okay, now I'm going to sort of freak you out. Uh, my hands are pretty big, okay? You have a wire here, you have a wire here. So the wire runs from here, where my index fingers are, okay? My hand is pretty good size for a guy. It's halfway across. Wanna guess what size this is? What, what cup size? There's an H as in hotel, as in huge, okay? Relative to what people think is huge. But if you were to see this on me, it looks amazing. And it's exactly what I need from side to side, okay? The band is 40, so this is a 40H cup. Now, I bought this on, on eBay from a seller. Uh, they're good, they're in Australia. It's gonna take you two weeks to get this. Now, you must be asking, why don't I just go get it at my local bra store? Well, that could set you back in between 60 and 100 bucks, maybe 120. And since you don't know, you don't know, um, yes, I have it over my shoulder. Um, since you don't know what your bra size is ultimately going to be, I wouldn't spend any more money than you have to. This 
is about, I don't know, about 15 to 17 dollars with shipping. Yes, you heard me right. And it's really cute. It's, they come in all different kinds, all different patterns and stuff. They are lovely. And after I get my boobs done, I'll probably buy some of them because I can't see why they won't work. Your most important issue is making sure you get the right size. Now, buying one of these bras is just, so you can do a test run with the rice. In my case, I added 1,000 cc's of rice, which filled up this cup all the way to where it says one liter, right there, see, one L. One liter is 33.8 ounces, it's 1,000 cc's. Same thing as 1,000 milliliters, got it? And I'll put this down for those of you who are smoking the ganja, or doing the crack, or you're watching this before noon and you've already got two beers in you, or, or, or you're down in the tequila and, and you're not sure exactly what your name is, let alone anything else, I'm gonna put it, to, I'm gonna put it in the description so you have it, because it's important. Um, let's see. Uh, when you do, when you determine how much rice you're gonna stick in that cup, just don't worry about what I'm gonna tell you about under the muscle. And under the under muscle part of it is important. And we're gonna to get to that in a second. If you're if you're as big as me, I'm five foot ten and a half, uh, I weigh, I don't know, like 184, something like this. And I'm solid muscle. You know? Take it or leave it. You know, I have a washboard stomach and all that, and I, I don't lift weights. I actually just do Pilates, aerobics, uh, you know, calisthenics, and, and running, or fast walking, or whatever. And I'm very lean, and muscle weighs a lot. Don't get caught up in how much you weigh. Okay, so 1,000 cc's of rice. Put the bra on, put the rice bags in, go look in the mirror, put a shirt on, see how it looks, see if you like it. You need to figure out if that's the look you want. You're gonna figure out the tape measure before you buy one of these, what, what you really need to be buying for $15 or whatever. So uh, don't, don't ever think this. Now, the part about under the muscle goes like this. When your surgeon uh, puts in your implant and you want it below the muscle for purposes of good images on the MRI or on the sonogram, so that your radiologist can see uh, whether or not you have any anomalies, anything weird going on in your breast, okay? Uh, you're gonna get breast checkups. Play no games. When you, 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 can ch you can tell him you want under the muscle and you want under the muscle. When it goes under the muscle, and this information has been verified with my surgeon, this is the second version of this video, okay? not the first. And my, my plastic surgeon said as follows, you're gonna need to, your, your surgeon's gonna need to add between 10, 10, 10, and 20% more to whatever it is. So like for example, we're doing 1,000 cc's with the cup, right? 10% is another 100 cc's, 20% is another 200 cc's. I think I'll probably be around like 1150, something like this around. But you need that extra because when it's under the muscle, the muscle will pull down on the implant and that projection you have in front of you is going to be reduced. It's going to be um, uh, partially like prevented by the muscle pulling back on it. Just like, just like saran wrap, you know, just like if you pull saran wrap around you, it's going to like pull you in. Sign like that. Okay, whatever. Use whatever metaphor you want. Um, he needs to add that. But just when you do the bra at home in the bathroom, just stick with a thousand cc's for example. Don't worry about the extra whatever percent. He'll do that. But just remind him that you want to make sure that the projection you're expecting in front of you is is all that you can get. Now, there's two manufacturers. One is Mentor, M-E-N-T-O-R. The other one is Allergan. Now, Allergan is the same people who make contact lenses. A double -L, l e r g a n. Okay, now Mentor is my choice because they make the implant I want, which is saline, round, smooth, and 
I'm going to put it below the muscle. Now, it's the nominal fill is one of the categories of the volume that it could take, and the other one is the max fill. Uh, the, the nominal fill is about 800 cc's, the max fill is about 960. Now, they typically will fill them past the max fill because these girls, this particular surgeon does implants all the way to 2,000 cc's, and if you think that's not big, it is big. It is probably the size of a small cantaloupe. It's large. And I saw one, uh, an example of his work. She was there, she had 2,000 cc's implants, and she was there for a checkup. She's a big girl. Uh, I don't recommend you go that big, uh, but there are a few plastic surgeons in the United States that do large implants. He's one of them. It's Revis, R-E-V-I-S. He's in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, he's aware I'm making this video and that he's being mentioned. And um, he's a very good surgeon. He's a very nice guy. He's a young guy. He's a brand new office. Very nice staff. Highly competent. He's competent. Uh, prices are reasonable. And, you know, please, if you go see him, tell him that I sent you, okay? Um, I guess that's it, you know? Uh, when you get your instructions after your surgery, follow them. Don't deviate from it. Do what they tell you to do. If you switch to an underwire bra earlier after your surgery, you will end up with breasts that sit higher, okay? If you want more of a drop, then you uh, stay away from uh, underwire bras for a longer period of time and they will dictate to you those guidelines you need to ask and you listen to what they tell you, okay? Um, you know, once you get your surgery, you can't raise your arms for a couple of weeks. You know, aerobics are bouncing up or down for about the same or a little bit more. Uh, you probably go back to work after about seven days, something like this. Uh, I guess that's it, you know. Uh, you should ask to see the implants if you can. You know, I don't see any reason why not. They usually have samples in the office. Uh, I'm, I'm staying away from silicone. I don't want it. Um, they do have the gummy versions of the silicone, so if there is a break in, in the outer layer, it will not just leak into your body. It tends to stay in place, but I still don't care. You know, things happen. And uh, that's my preference. It's your preference. You work that out with him. Silicone is going to run you more money. It could run you another grand, another thousand bucks, something like this. Some of you girls have a zero breast tissue to work with. And some surgeons, not Revis, are hesitant to work on transgender because of this issue and what is called the inframammary fold. I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, you see here, you see, you see that bounce? This is where the breast goes into the chest wall. This is the inframammary fault. If you are sporting no inframammary fault, it's going to be rough to potentially, potentially get you to where you want to be. You may actually have to go in for a revision surgery, which means second time around, you will be charged again something close to full price. You may get a deal, you may not. You need to ask up front. You need to explain to him what your expectation is and he'll tell you whether or not you can get there in one shot or not. Second time around, you could do anything from, depending on the surgeon, you, uh, I don't want to say that, no. Um, but you could certainly, you know, most plastic surgeons, um, uh, can, you know, you can do a nose job that day. You could do, a Brazilian butt lift with liposuction, liposuction, um, something like this. Why am I saying that? Because you get a break on price. You're under one anest general anesthesia. The less times you are under anesthesia in total through your transition, the better it is for you. Being under general anesthesia is traumatic on your body. Okay, so uh, there is that too. And you will save money on hospital fees, on doctor's fees, and a bunch of other stuff. Ask for all the numbers. Know your numbers. A lot of times there's financing available. Ask about that. Okay? If he doesn't know, uh, get to me and I'll give you the name of one or two of these companies that you can do actually pay in installments. Just like as if you bought a car. Okay? Alright, so have a great day. And if you have any questions, let me know. We are going to be talking in another video about stretch marks and uh, um, reducing scars, okay? 
uh, and this is key uh, uh, post-surgery on your breasts, okay? Uh, talk to you soon, and have a great day. Be well, and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please give them to me. If you have a nasty gram that you want to send, something mean, just hold it to yourself. This is just, these videos are designed to help the masses. If there's something in here you're expecting to see and it was not, I apologize. There's little I can do to get, you know, it can't be perfect, so. All right, uh, in my case, by the way, I'm gonna do the uh, incision under the nipple. If you do silicone implants, your incisions got to be longer because the implants go in already filled. Keep that in mind. Okay, uh, they could also do it at the inframammary fold. That's up to the surgeon, he can decide. The other one is axillary, which is right here, up to the surgeon. You work that out with him, okay? I wouldn't do that one because of scarring, you know? Even with uh, some scar reduction methods, uh, you may still have scars. I wouldn't go for axillary, okay, under the armpit or in the armpit, okay? Love you, bye.